Are you ready to disappear into the decadent world of the 1920s when the champagne flowed while the caviar Ooh. chilled and the world was a party? That's, it sounds really nice. That's right? really yeah. nice. That's yeah. a line from the Pittsburgh CLO's <laughs> latest summer season smash, the Drowsy Chaperone, opening next week at the Bedroom Center. New York Magazine, in fact, called it the perfect Broadway musical. And today, we have the pleasure of sitting down with the stars of the show, television icons, I tell you, Clay Aiken and Paige Davis. Welcome back. It's so nice to have you guys back. It's wonderful to be here. It is. It you, is. you make me want to see the show. I, I want to go back to the I actually appreciate the fact that's one of my lines, and it helped me a little bit because I don't think I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> We're in rehearsal <laughs> now, so our brains are like trying to. <laughs> so tell us about the production and coming into Pittsburgh to put this on. This is not a tour. This is right here in Pittsburgh. Yes, it's, uh, professional people have flown in from New York. There are some local people in it. Raleigh is represented. Oh, yes. uh, oh, I feel sort of like a Pittsburgh. I mean, this is my third yeah, year third that I've time done something here. with PCLO. Me too. My third time as well. My parents live here. Hi, Mom and Dad. Oh, how nice. And they're up watching now. Oh, yes, they are. They're watching. watching. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's really kind of, you were talking about how cool it is that Pittsburgh does this. I don't do theater stuff very often, and I've done three shows now in Pittsburgh because Amazing. this is, and I'm not, not blowing smoke. This theater company, uh, Pittsburgh Civic Light, uh, Civic Light Opera, PCLO, yeah. as we call it, is, I mean, Pittsburgh's really lucky to have this yeah. organization. They put on incredibly high quality. You don't have to go to New York to see a Broadway right. quality show. You can see it here. Yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. And the Drowsy Chaperone is really sweet. It's really funny. And it's short. That's what yes, I like to tell oh. people. It's very short. So there's no intermission? There's no intermission. Oh, I like and that. And it's great. And, uh, Clay was saying when we were waiting to come on, I'm going to steal your line. It, it's a, it is a perfect musical, and if you love musicals, this will touch your heart. It is an absolute homage to musicals, but it's also very tongue-in-cheek and very madcap. And so if you dislike musicals, you will also like this show because it, <laughs> makes, fun of it does make fun of you. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So it's for everyone. What is it about musicals? What is it that draws you guys to it? And and what is it that, you know, I mean, so many the people applause, love it. Darling. The applause, darling. <laughs> All right. Totally. The applause. Spotlight. <laughs> this is what we're missing here because we get none of that, so we just have to use each other as a. That's game. right. You have to be each other's hype man. That right. question, though, is answered in the show, I think, too, because this show is about not just it, it's about a character who loves musicals. You get in two shows at once. Um, Paige and I are in the same show, but in, the, in some ways we're almost not in the same yeah. show. It's you a show a within a show. Mm -hmm. There's a musical that was written in the 1920s that Man in Chair, that's his role, he comes out and he tells the audience, I'm going to play this cast album for you. And the musical that is called The Drowsy Chaperone comes to life right. in his studio right. apartment. Uh, so all the characters are really in his mind, but they're all like living the whole musical right inside his apartment. Part. This is coming back to me now. I saw this and couldn't remember what, what it was all about. It's all you know coming what? back it's, to me it's, now. It's zany. You're right. There's such a yeah. great sense of humor about the whole thing. Yeah, it's really yeah. funny. You'll have to come see Paige Davis as the drowsy chaperone, and you will never forget that. And okay, never that forget. I promise. Wait, Clay, I have to tell you, I love the purple hair. Oh, it's, it's kind of changing hair. colors, yes. It's, I love you it. Know, it's, I, have to, I have to express some personality in some ways. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not, you won't see it in the show. It'll be, it'll be different by the time oh, yeah. the show opens. Um, the character's a little bit different than purple. I don't so know. it's good it got its premiere here. Right, yes, yes. <laughs> it's my deal. We love see it. seeing it on PTL. Yes. And, we, and we love having you guys back in Pittsburgh. I know, you know, Pittsburgh is a soft spot for you now, and, and you have Me roots too. in Pittsburgh. Yeah, well, my parents are here, and uh, I did The Sound of Music back in 2003, and <laughs> I did Miss Abigail's Guide to Dating, Mating, and Marriage mm -hmm. just five years ago, and now I'm back, and always thrilled to be here. Like Clay said, it's a marvelous regional company. They put on incredible shows. Oh, there I am. Good Lord. <laughs> we've, got a Tony, we've got a Tony winner in this show. We do. Um, Donna McKechnie. That's I mean, right. This is the this is not Cassie's, small time at all. A, a, a Chorus Lines original Cassie Donna McKechnie is playing Mrs. Tottendale, mm -hmm. and she's hilarious. It sounds fantastic. fantastic, and we are so lucky to have you both back here in town and the whole cast. So thank you so much. Thank see you. Us. Everybody you come. Guys come see us. Yes, Absolutely. We want to come see you. Yes. <laughs> Pittsburgh CLO's <laughs> The Drowsy Chaperone runs June 21st to July 26th at the Benedum Center. And for ticketing info and the full summer season lineup at Pittsburgh CLO, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com.